Well, looks like I'm on chick again. If y'all are tired of chick, leave me a comment. Tell me, go somewhere else for a change. But today we're not even stopping on two pounders. I've been trying to stop, catch a bunch of two pounders off bed and all that stuff. We're not even doing that today. We're running until we see a giant. That's the deal for today. We're gonna try to see one big one on bed all day. One big one. That's what we're gonna try to do. I mean, like, you know, I only really care one pair. four, y'all. I don't know how y'all well y'all can see that there's a dust cloud like right there there is a bed right there with two fish on it i didn't see them too well but i know there's two on it, it looked like one was a two pounder one was probably a three and i drifted by them and i said i'm gonna turn around to you know set up on them turned around and i blew a dust cloud from right there all the way over there right on top of the bed it'd be hard to mess them up worse than i messed that up That was just mega locked, so I had to catch him. All right, so I just got off the phone with the Chickamauga OG Bass Quest. He's coming to hop in the boat with me. We're gonna fish for a few hours this evening. He knows this lake better than I do, so if anybody can put me on a 10 pounder, it's gotta be him. So we're about to go pick him up for about 30 minutes. Let's try to catch one in the meantime. Chickamauga OG put me on one.
That one's up there, spooky, man. I pulled back over here to it, found it. Whenever I made the first cast in the bed, there'd be it. Not a bad one, pretty little fish, but it's not what we're looking for. I thought he was a lot smaller than that, though, actually. I just figured I'd make a cast to him and see. Nice, man, I love catching them like this. It's so much fun. He actually followed it out of the bed, and I was just sitting there holding it. And I squatted down to put the power pose down and make another cast. And I, then I saw him come at it, so I just moved it that far. And it went, thunk. So I was like, got him. Okay, so what am I doing? I am outside waiting on UPS Conda. Um, I don't know they're not going to be here for another hour or so, but I'm getting everything ready because I'm getting a new Hummingbird Helix 12 Gen 3 in. My, I had a Helix 12 Gen 2 that was giving me tons and tons of problems ever since I first got it. So after about 3,000 phone calls and two months of me not having side imaging, I have a new one on the way. So that's what we're doing. This video right here, I filmed it a few weeks ago fish with uh, bass quest aka well that is his aka his name is caleb bell he's goes by bass quest on youtubes but we had a fun day he knows the lake a lot better than i do he knows a lot more of the small little deals where the fish always get they school up a lot i'm not you know i'm more of a running gun kind of grinder pattern guy i like to run around and run this and that if i catch them somewhere i want to find somewhere else just like it and catch them he knows where they stack stack up and he makes it a lot easier when you know them little places i don't know them yet gonna have to go out with him some more in the summertime whenever they're actually schooled up or else i should have went out with him in the winter whenever we first talked about it because he knows where they school up at and i don't but anyways go check out bass quest y'all saw that little clip in the video of my buddy tyler that was whenever he was down he had himself a day that day he uh i think he had like 24 25 pounds or something he had like an eight pounder and some sixes and some fives and some threes you know he was just on just doing a chickamauga beat down you know, he, I went with him the day before that. We didn't hardly catch anything. Then he goes out there by himself and throws a little, his little stupid signature bait around and catches him like 25 pounds. So hopefully he learned him something for the Bass Open coming up. I am in that now, paid in full. We're, we're good for that. And we're getting ready to go to Chickamauga. I'm going to get this Humbird Helix put on my boat, get ready to ride on up the road tomorrow. But it was a fun day. You know, Bass Quest uh, kind of told me where to go a lot th through the end. We up on a lot of places that you can tell the fish just live you know there's a lot of isolated things a lot of uh one one, one was an underwater spring and we caught some off of it he caught one nice one off of it caught one you know nice one off a dock then we went around just fishing isolated wood and stuff it's not a time of year where they school up but that's that's his forte is whenever they get schooled up when these i don't he's not really a ledge guy i don't think he just knows these little like 14 15 foot deep 12 foot deep little weird places that they get which is what you re actually want for those giant fish so go check out Bass Quest. If you liked that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it, guys. We're getting everything ready. We're headed to Table Rock. Hasta mañana.